Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am reacting live to the Nintendo Direct. Uh, this is my first time using OBS and setting it up with like my webcam and like my uh, monitor and everything. So I'm pretty excited to be using this setup. Uh, and yeah, this is the last Nintendo Direct for the Switch. Oh my god, it's starting. Oh my god, it's starting. Here we go. I love that sound. June is like Christmas for gamers. Okay, here we go. We got the Princess Peach cancel. Luigi. Voice acting? Okay, I like it. This looks like the RPG game. Ooh, magic hands. What is this? Mario and Luigi! Ooh, look at the graphics. Oh my god. Ooh, that's gonna be so much fun to play. I love the time-based RPG elements. The rhythm-based. Okay, so they opened up the presentation with the Mario game. You already know it's gonna be... This presentation's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, ooh, the Hammer Bros are back. I honestly love this RPG series. I think the first one I played was on the DS. Jump, jump. Oh, I never got to play the in Bowser's Inside Story on the 3DS. I missed that one. But I, I think I'm definitely going to pick up this one. It, I just love the graphics, and I kind of miss that rhythm-based RPG goodness, you know? Mario and Luigi RPG does that really well. Oh, there's Bowser. Oh my god, that's like a callback to the soccer game. <gasps> Mario, Mario and Luigi! Brothership. November 7th, 2024. Wow. Oh. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario wow. and Luigi series in almost nine wow. years. Mario wow. and Luigi Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that Brother Ship? Oh, on the sea? Well I see what they're doing. <laughs> okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home or on the go. Okay, we knew about this one. We knew this because it was already, like, scheduled to release, you know? Take on over 150. Oh my god, I remember that game. Oh, the old Ice Climbers. Excite Bike? I'm excited. Oh, Metroid Prime 4? Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Legendary. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. No way. I could never. Challenge? <laughs> Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode. Ooh. You'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. Oh my You've god. Got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? It's like Fortnite, but like old Nintendo, Nintendo games. Championships NES edition launches on Nintendo That's hella cool. Switch, July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. July 18th, y'all. physical version of the game and other bonus items. Oh my god, that's so cool. The the gold, oh my god, cartridge. That was so sick. <gasps> Ooh. Is about to begin. Anime goodness, here we go. I love fairy tale. Happy. Natsu! 
relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. Okay, this is spoilers for me. I'm only on season one, y'all. I don't even know who these characters are. All I know is Natsu. <laughs> Oh, it's like a oh, it's like a turn-based RPG. It's kind of giving Persona Five. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. That looks like a One Piece character. Fairy Tale Two. Fairy Tale Two. The sequel. Oh wow, there's a first game. It's Koei Tecmo. I love their action games. What is this? Oh, okay. Already convinced. Oh, love the character design. Fantasian. I'm Asian. Leo. Okay, I'm convinced. I love the character design. I'm a sucker for JRPGs. Come on, Square Enix, feed me. I like the music. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. Okay, this I'm gonna get this game. Just the music has me convinced. What is it called again? Oh, Fantasian. For the Asians. I don't know why I'm so hyped for this game. Okay, it's coming out this year. Let's go. I think all of these games that they're going to announce right now are coming out this year. Ooh! I have this game. Basketball! Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch Sports We're going to be with the little Joy-Cons. We're going to be like... Dribble. Pass. Oh, what? And shoot. <laughs> two-on-two -two matches using motion controls. Okay, I, I used to play this game with my mom in the garage, and she absolutely loves it. Cause you don't have to move that much like even it's you know it's like we sports like even old people young people anyone can play oh my god i can't wait to play basketball with my mother oh yeah i forgot this game you can play online oh that's so cool okay so now we got badminton volleyball basketball what else oh the sword fighting one this is a good game y'all it's like the successor to Wii Sports. <gasps> okay, what is this? What is this? Okay. Oh, oh. Is that, Zelda? Is that Was that a Zelda character? I'm not sure. What is this, an indie game? Or a new IP? It's like a robot with blonde hair. Ooh. Ooh. See, you have to show me the gameplay. I'm a sucker. I need to see the gameplay and see when a trailer shows me just gameplay, that's how you know they... Did you see that? She, she like, walks with her hair. That's... That's so slay. Mio Memories in Orbit. 2025? It's an array of cartoon classics. That was so cool. That was an interest, a interesting game. Oh, it's Mickey and Mouse! Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch, uncover his I've actually never played, I never even played Epic Mickey. I know that game was really cool. Yeah, I've never played like a Mickey Mouse. A Mickey Mouse! Free update launches on Nintendo Switch. It's free, fuckers! Oh, sorry. Island Adventures Await. A Hello Kitty game. It's Hello Kitty Animal Crossing. Hello Kitty Animal Crossing. Then befriend Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty Animal Crossing. Another familiar faces in this open world adventure. 
team up with their new pals wait do they have the other oh yeah they do oh my god my favorite animal not animal crossing my it looks like animal kudomi kudomi is my favorite hello kitty character let's get loony in this wacky sports game oh wow play is bugs bunny daffy duck Okay, they gave us they gave us basketball for Nintendo Sports Switch Sports. Now they're giving us basketball for Looney Tunes. Oh, it's multiple sports. All I'm saying is that I real I don't want no baseball Mario. I want basketball Mario. I hope they reveal that. That'd be fun. That looks kind of fun. New crewmate oh look it's a manga inner sloth see this is the company that accidentally leaked that this direct was going to be today thank you inner sloth you're our inner sloth <laughs> i remember playing among us with my cousins during like lockdown that was fun Ooh, it's giving Pokemon Felicidad. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop. It's giving Fire Emblem combined with Pokemon, and I'm here for it. And lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant seeds, then cultivate. <sighs> to make your buddies come to life. Why did it have to be a farm simulator? Be trained for battle. Why did it have to be farming? You know, I always tell myself I'm going to get back into a farming game and I thought that one that one like farm game was going to be it. Fay Farm or something. I don't know. It came out last year. To call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Okay, maybe this game will be the one where I get back into farming, like the farming type games. Because I do like the farm farming type games. I do like them. Farmagia? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch. Barely. <laughs> the villainous Tiki Tap tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife. Yay! We got a new Donkey Kong game. <laughs> they announced that they're bringing Donkey Kong to Universal Studios. So this is a. Uh, it makes sense. Each level is filled the only Donkey Kong platforming game I've played is Tropical S Freeze, and that game was so hard. I couldn't even get through like level one or level two. It's a very hard platforming game. It's it's kind of like um, Cuphead, but Cuphead is even harder. Can you play online? 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Okay, so they just repackaged the entire thing. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. I remember I got this game for free on my Nintendo Switch when I bought like some promotion. Nintendo was doing some promotion. I got the Donkey Kong game for free. Never played it because it was too hard. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. <laughs> Next, I just noticed Diddy Kong is wears a Nintendo hat. Let's go. Fire Emblem. Legend of Zelda. What is this? I'm nervous. <gasps> it's Dragon Quest, y'all. Oh my god. The graphics are like live alive? No. Like Octopath Traveler. Is this a remake? <gasps> Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. That's a lot of numbers, y'all. Oh, I love Oh, I love it. On an epic adventure. 
that guy is in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> like, like, like the the costume, the alternate costume, that one. Just because of that reason, I want to play it. And formidable monsters await. I played the Dragon Quest XI, the newest one, An iconic RPG on my Nintendo Switch, and it was an one of the HD best TV. JRPGs I've ever played. Dragon Quest, don't sleep on Dragon Quest, y'all. It's a really good JRPG. Fortune one of the OGs, Empire. I think. And they're remaking the third one. The legacy begins. The hype is real. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Yay! Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. Oh, I love this guy's voice acting. Dragon Quest 3. Coming. He sounds very magical. <gasps> this music. What is that? DLC? Experience the complete Edric trilogy? So they're wait wait, so they're releasing the third one first. And then one and two? Why would they do it backwards? Dragon Quest 3 no Ezo. Dragon Quest 1 and 2 are HD 2D. I like his shirt. The little flowers. Look at him holding the slime plushie. It looks like he's forced to hold it for merchandise. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hori. Mr. What? You're Just kidding. To play the entire Erdrick trilogy now in HD 2D. Let's continue with more headlines. Did we get a release date? Did I miss the release date while talking? Let's have oh, hell no. oh, hell no. Say hello oh, hell no. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now they're a video game. <laughs> no, why? The world of Funko is coming to No action adventure mashup for the ages. Please stop. No. You explore locations based on Dude, they're already taking over all the shelf life in every single game store I go to. I don't need them in a video game. I don't I don't need this. You know what it is about Funko Pops? Okay, do you guys know what Q Poskets are? Q Poskets are doing what Funko Pops think they're doing. I like the Pokemon Funko Pops. Those ones are cool. It's just... No. Please, no. I just, I can't with the beady eyes and the everyone is a cube. Like, why? Like, no. I'm sorry. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish <gasps> Oh no. M -m -m Mario. Courage. Hello. And explore Hello. Mansions filled with goofy ghosts. Tell me why when I was a child, I was just, like scared of this game. I was like, oh my god, it's a horror game. <laughs> okay, but you know what is a horror game? Sorry, tangent. Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread is a horror game. What is this? Is this, is this Tomodachi Life? No, it's not. It kind of looks like Tomodachi Life. No, it, it kind of looks like that me RPG game. The street, the, you know, the street pass, the one on the 3DS. Damn, man. is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slug series. Never played it. Control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Mission complete. Units with different abilities and build out get get tactical tussles. 
You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Battle rivals around the world. For me, I wouldn't play. There's just too much going on on the screen. I'm sorry. I'm just like. Embark on an expedition of the dam in this eagerly oh damn to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stage. Oh, was there an Indian guy in there? Did you, did y'all see that? To prevent an Representation. Oh, uh, okay. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Oh, look, you can they have no eyeballs. All of them have no eyes. It's just shadows. Pre-orders begin later today. Nintendo e -shop. How cool. Did y'all see that? The no eyes, no pupils. Titles are on the way. Oh my god, oh my god. Do, 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 do. Classic 16 bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Skag. Past Swords. Oh, Metroid. Of Samus's first adventure Metroid. Metroid Prime Zero Prime. Mission. Oh look, there was zero suit Samus. Plus, coming I'm, to the new Nintendo I'm 64 just... Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Wow, Grand Theft Auto. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok. This was Dinosaur rated mature. Hunter. And. <gasps> Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien Perfect Dark. In. Okay, I kind of saw this dark. coming because I think I saw Perfect Dark announced on like some All Xbox showcase like a few days ago. Switch Online Plus expansion pack members. So Rare is just like passing Perfect Dark out like pancakes, I guess. Set sail to save the day. Ooh. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. Danny Phantom? Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. Ash Ketchum? In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on yes, gameplay. Show me gameplay. Where you combine the fantasy Convince me with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Oh, the game is in Japanese. To a large I wish I had I wish I had English uh, voice acting. A fan to blow enemies around. Or Combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Oh, they're like little pirates. That's Phantom so cute. Brave, the Lost Hero launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, I thought they said they were only announcing games for this year. This that was a lie. For a ride. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel. Oh, I love this one. Two, New Age of Heroes. Oh, this one's so good. Take down the Kingpin in the beat 'em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. I would get this just for Marvel versus Capcom 2, the second one. Or play co-op in the Punisher. I was so disappointed with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, that one that came out a couple years ago. They like replaced it. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. I love that song. Mario Party? The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island. Oh my god, I love Mario Party. To jump into the Everyone loves Mario Party. Mario Party mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see okay. some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. So it's not a Superstars game. It's a Super Mario Party game. Oh my god, they're in a mall. <gasps> Use in-game coins to get a star at half Wait, when they're on it's in a mall. 
but act fast. I played so ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. A Mario Kart Mario Party hybrid. Move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon. Okay, Mario Party holds a special place in my heart because my niece, Del Noor, she played this this was the first game she ever played with me. Along with five new game boards. Like literally a few days ago. It was her first game ever. Some mini games are action packed challenges. Speed trials. Ooh, uh, you see riding the Yoshis. Ooh, puzzles. And some are controlled by gently shaking. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Controllers. I love the motion control With ones. 110 mini games. There's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Oh my god, it's like Battle Royale. And aim for first place. Super Mario Battle Royale. To come out on top. S Mario Party Battle Royale. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. When the Super Mario when does it come out? game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That that's that's this year. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series, Super Mario Party Jamboree, with new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay and more, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. Oh, this, oh. It's a sequel to Link's Awakening. Oh, look. Zelda looks so cute. No. Zelda looks so cute. Oh my god, do we get to play as Zelda? <gasps> do we get to play as Zelda? They should call this game Link. <laughs> It's in the Link, Link's Awakening, Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Hello everyone. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, the Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. <gasps> now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Okay. You might be thinking they should have called it Zelda Legend of Link sword, then? to confuse people, just, well, just here, for funsies. We wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. A top-down Zelda game, but you, you play as Zelda. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people. Oh no! Including Link. No! Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious Tri. staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off Tri Rod on a across Hyrule to save her kingdom. Come on, Zelda, you gotta try. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found. Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Oh, Slay. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Oh, that's... Just like that. Engineering. You can create <laughs> wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately is this the first game where we ever you. get to play as Zelda? Has there been a game before where we play as Zelda? I like her little hood. What you discover.
even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. Oh yeah, how is Zelda going to fight? All, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. No way. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. <gasps> Monsters have different abilities. It's like the down B from Super Smash Bros. On the situation. Wisdom is key after all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the sounds are so cute. In a high rule without Link. We don't need him. Is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? Interesting. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles? She's kind of like a Pokemon trainer if you think about it. Depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo Wait. Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available. Shiny, shiny. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on. <gasps> I love Just Dance. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Is that Lady Gaga? 2025. 40 <gasps> Yes and Unstoppable by Sia Oh Lady Gaga I knew it For different levels Oh wow Oh wow That's cool I hate that Ubisoft does this now. Just Dance is literally a gotcha game. Or like a free-to-play game that's a subscription. A Lego Adventure is on the horizon. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Oh my god. Join the Wait. Shin Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from its ancient evil. It's on the Switch, though? Through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the so does this make Alloy not a PlayStation exclusive character anymore? Or is it just her Lego variant that's not PlayStation exclusive? This is wild. Can can Lego do this to Halo? So can we get Lego Halo on the Switch? I want Lego God of War on the Switch. That's what I want. <clears throat> what else? Oh my god, Lego Final Fantasy? <laughs> While we're at it, Lego Kingdom Hearts. Just do it. Lego Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch. This is the way we're gonna get PlayStation exclusives <laughs> on the Switch. A strange journey begins. I spoke too soon. So this game was a PlayStation exclusive. And now, now you can get it on the Switch. I played it for like an hour or so. It was pretty fun. You literally play as a cat, but the cat is like an alien, like an on an alien planet. It's pretty cool. Meow. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat. Yeah, the graphics are way like tone down for the switch to find your way home carefully climb to the highest heights it's honestly really fun 
because you like it's like platforming and like uncharted but with a cat look how cute that is not everyone is excited to have you slinking around including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety Meow. Stray finds Meow. its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Welcome home, Hobbit. Oh my god. If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic... Okay, I actually went to New Zealand and I went to Little Hobbiton and they made it really accurate. And settle into life in the Shire. That literally As looks like New Zealand. Haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a Wild. or three. Do you think the game developers fish, went to orange, New Zealand as well to like to study it? Free vacation, it's for work. Your homemade dishes. <laughs> Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. So you just make food in this game? Oh, it's Gandalf. Tales of the Shire. For the Shire. System, this holiday. Sam. Frodo. Interrogate checkmate. What is it? Oh, okay. Ace Attorney spin An Ace Attorney game. That was previously I've never played of Japan, Ace Attorney. Coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. Is being a lawyer fun? As the prolific <laughs> prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from I the do like the art. character designer. Or swap to the original oh, for a more classic look. That's cool. A that's a nice option. I would do both. The gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth. At any cost. Oh, she's cold. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. How many games? Two. Switch, September sixth. Pre-orders begin later today. On Nintendo they begin Nintendo. today. Today. <laughs> After a devastating attack I like his hair. on unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. Oh no. Oh. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. Oh, you could see its Takumi brain. manages to get out of harm's way. He's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. Oh my god, it's My Hero Academia. Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. Okay. An academy shrouded in secrecy. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? I kind of thought it was gonna play like, I don't know. The hundred line Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch. It's literally an anime game, Annie, Annie Plex. That's the people who make Demon Slayer and whatnot. Embark on a saga spanning generations. A saga? A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I like this gameplay. The Empire of Beren across multiple generations. It's like Fire Emblem. The legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. In combat, use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills. And formations to enhance abilities. 
What? Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Oh. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter she the course of the She needs my help. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the When's the release date? May emerge victorious. Oh, that looked like Akuma. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24. There's a lot of games coming out in October. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's oh. Nintendo Direct. Almost. Next will be our last announcement. Oh. Please take a look. Metroid. Star Fox. Metroid. Metro Prime 2, remastered. Metro Prime 4. What is it? Is this Metro Prime 2? I think that's what it is. Metro Prime 2 and 3 Remastered. It's coming out this year. They gotta prep us for Metroid Prime 4. Because I've never played Metro... I haven't played Metro Prime 1, 2, or 3. Because growing up, they were too scary for me. I literally thought they were horror games. And then they came out with Metroid Dread, which is literally a horror game. Samus! <gasps> Wait! What? No way. It's Metroid Prime 4! Wait, what about 2 and 3? I haven't played 2 and 3! <laughs> I don't know what's going on! 2025. See, they always say these things. They're like, oh, you know, this this Nintendo Switch Direct is only going to be for the games coming out this year. And they literally announced like three games that, that are 2025. First look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Wow. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. Exciting. We're looking forward to Samus Aran. I don't know who that is. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Bye. Wow, y'all. That was... That was the Nintendo Direct. That was my first time ever doing this. Ever, like recording and like reacting to a nintendo direct i had a lot of fun um but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching don't forget to subscribe uh i definitely want to learn more about obs and like live streaming and gaming and whatnot um so hopefully i'll be live streaming on youtube or maybe twitch i don't know i still have to learn but yeah thank you guys oh i forgot the cameras right there thank you guys bye How do you stop this? <laughs> it's my first time. Okay, here we go. Stop.